everybody, what's up? My name is Ian Chikino. I'm uh, this is my like part two of my Marine Arena um, video. This one I'm going to show you more of an advanced uh, build order. Last game, last time I did it was just like a basic, you know, this is Marine Arena, whatever. So uh, I'm going to show you how I start off uh, this game. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just pause it here for a second. So I'll show you the modes we're playing under Sudden Death, uh, Disabled, and uh, fastest game speed so you get minerals and d d classic marine arena and that's about it so you can see I started with my opponent he disconnected while the game was loading so uh, I don't have an opponent and uh, I didn't even get his money whenever uh, he left because he didn't he wasn't in the game when it started so I'm basically by myself I don't have any extra money so this opening I like doing is um, I get zerglings first and I get zergling speed and I just basically um, get marine upgrades uh, and I get Zergling only armor upgrades and attack upgrades. I don't get any of these Adrenal Glings or Cracklings or any of those upgrades because I'm going to eventually uh, switch into Stalker at about the 10 minute mark. But since I'm playing by myself, <coughs> it may take me a little bit longer to make that much money. So at the beginning, uh, I like to use my first scan just on one of my closer opponents to see what kind of uh, mercenaries they're going to see if uh, maybe if both of them, if you ever see an opponent going to like not going Mercs and they only have Marines, and you actually have an ally and you're going zerglings, you can just A move straight into their base and kill everything and make them waste the savior and that's really easy to do. Uh, but basically at the beginning what I do is I grab my marines and zerglings and I just do a circle of the map and uh, I'll show you that here. So I just basically do a circle of the map and uh, place my zerglings burrow them because zerglings spawn, uh, spawn with the burrow ability. So I'm basically just running around the map, uh, placing zerglings so you can see on the mini map here you can see uh, when people are going to flank you, you can see when other people are flanking each other. And Zerglings are just so cheap, they're only 175, so they're the cheapest um, cheapest mercenary. So now I'm just going to go uh, start planning the rest of the map with Zerglings so I can have vision. And uh, this is pretty common. I mean, if you've played any Marine or any site, probably seen people do this, but uh, it's, I mean, people do, everybody does it because it's so useful. And I mean, Zerglings are only, only 175, and you get so many units for it. So this early in the game, they're just great to have. Even if you plan on switching later on to like another um, mercenary. So here's another thing what I like to do with my initial money. Uh, you should have about 175 minerals left over, and that's just enough to get one Banshee and one Medivac. And you be I basically just put this Banshee and Medivac in my c control group number two, and my Marines and Zerglings in control group number one. And this Banshee can do a lot of damage. Um, two units, so it gives you high ground vision, so you can see stuff like this, and you can just harass people. So uh, let me just speed this up, because I'm not going to go through this entire game. Uh, probably not, unless I 4x speed it, but I'm not sure how my computer is going to handle this on uh, fraps just because of the frame rate. I mean, I lag in Marine Arena, but anyway, uh, you just basically get Marine upgrades, uh, and you get Zergling attack, and um, like the upgrades that transfer. So, like, let's say you get uh, Mercenary armor upgrade, Mercenary attack upgrade, Mercenary health upgrade. Those are all going to be useful because whenever I transition to Stalkers, all of my units are going to have those upgrades also. Now if I get the Crackling upgrade, that's not going to help my Stalker, so I don't get that, because I plan on switching anyway. So you just get the basic upgrades, that transfer. So, you know, just with those Zerglings, I can see, like, here we go, I'm going to go and plant some more Zerglings so I can get some vision. And it just lets you know when one teammate, or one player, is attacking another player, then you can come in from behind and flank and trap that guy in the middle, get a bunch of easy kills. So, I can just see, uh, I'm just running around the map here, and here I get in a really bad position, you can see. Uh, I push out and try to kill this guy, and then I get flanked from behind. And I pretty much uh, end up losing my whole army here. That was a really bad spot. And even more blue units coming up from behind. But, yeah, well, another thing here is whenever you're in the middle of the map, click on this beacon and always use Guardian Shield. That gives you armor. It's for armor. You know, and it's free. So just go ahead and do that. I mean, there's really no reason not to use that Guardian Shield in the middle. So this guy's getting a battle cruiser. That's nice. Um, and I'm just using my Zerglings and Marines just running around the map and just picking off units and then fall back. You know, okay, here's here's a bad thing. This guy was saving up so many units, and he's going to attack me. And I'm going to try and defend this off. And at this point, I'm going to build a bunker. Just because bunkers, you can see here, are only 65. They're so cheap, and they have 2,000 uh, armor. So in situations like this, where you're getting trapped in your base, and you just continually spawn kill your units, and you don't want to waste a savior, just get that bunker up and put units in there. They're so cheap, and uh, that'll just help you uh, fight them off. So if he tries to attack me, this bunker is going to get a bunch of kills before he can manage to kill it. And also, I've got this Banshee and this uh, Medivac flying around healing unit, uh, healing my Banshee. So this Banshee can kill Marines very easy. It's just a great mercenary to get for early game defense. So let's get back here, speed it up a little bit, put in my vision so I don't have to move the camera around. 
But uh, yeah, basically you can see in the mini map, I see the orange is going up there to flank yellow and blue. I'm just going to come in and flank him and uh, get some kills. So I run in here with the Zergling's tank and get that guardian shield up. And uh, just basically micros, there's some sweet micros left in that. Just uh, shoot and run, shoot and run. Pull your uh, units back. Always want your Zerglings in front, of course. And since they're speedlings, it makes them really easy to micro. And uh, yeah, so basically uh, you can see the kills here. I'm not doing too hot. I'm only about like fourth place or something, but that's going to change here in a second. So I come in the middle of the map, dominate it pretty hard, and get a bunch of kills. <coughs> And then, uh, whenever you think you're going to lose, just run away. Just run back to your base. I should have ran away, uh, but I really wasn't paying attention, and blue kind of flanked me. So they got pretty much slaughtered there. The The biggest thing about Marine Arena is just keep your units alive as long as possible, because, you know, whenever your units are alive, that's more units you can have getting kills, and that's less money your opponent is getting. I was actually going to do a Zergling-only build, but with the last patch, the Zerglings aren't as good as they used to be, so I'm just going to scrap that. So at this point, uh, I've got enough money to make stalkers and upgrade stalkers. So I'm just I'm just gonna pull a bunch of zerglings up here to the top right part of my map, burrow them in case I want to save them for later. Uh, if I need to reseed the map, you can see up here I'm even seeding all this up here. Seed, uh, like watch this, just my vision. I have complete vision of everything up here, just because of all these burrowed zerglings. And I'm just making a stockpile of zerglings so later on in the game uh, when I want to. Uh, cover maybe this part of the map, I'll burrow some more Zerglings. And having these Zerglings up here is so important because if you get rushed from up here at the top and you don't have vision, uh, then they can just shoot down at you. But uh, with the Zerglings here, that provides vision and you know exactly where they're at and you don't need to waste a scan. So uh, those Zerglings are extremely useful. So I'm going to burrow all of them, save them for later and start getting Stalker. I'll just keep the Stalker highlighted. And you can see all the upgrades I get. So uh, yeah, basically just trying to uh, only fight the fights you know you can win very easily and then just run away when you can't win anymore. Pretty simple. And he's actually stimming quite a bit. I don't use stim that much uh, whenever I go to the stalker strat. I kind of just keep my marines alive as long as possible. I do stim a couple but not all of them. And uh, I think later on there's a fight where my opponent actually like stims, like brings his whole army in so many units and just stims so much. And actually uh, his army's in the red before it even gets in my base. So here, I'm just going to slow this down for a little bit. We got some micro. You can see I'm pulling this medevac back. Letting my Banshee get some shots in there, just trying to fall back. Here we, okay, here we go. You can see him stimming. Look at all these red Marines. I haven't even shot them yet. And uh, that army is going to get slaughtered by me because he's over stimming. And now I'm just going to one-shot every single one of his units with uh, any unit I have. So as soon as those Zelts are dead, you're going to see this. His whole army is going to get completely killed. He's trying to kill my Cybernetics core, but his uh, Marines don't have that much damage. And now he's forced to run because all of his units are so low. But he's going to turn around and try and finish it off. But now that thing's got like 5,000 life. Now Red's attacking me, a teammate, and uh, I'm forced to fall back. Uh, Red coming in here with those uh, Marines. And you can see this bunker tank. So look at this bunker take all that damage. It's so great. And uh, I'm just trying to... Uh, he's wasting all of his Marines, killing the 65 mineral bunker. Keep in mind that mineral is only 65 minerals, and he lost way more than 65 minerals worth of units. So I fight that off, and I'm uh, probably going to put another bunker, bunker here up in a minute, because I've got... Plenty of money. There it is. There's another bunker protecting the cybernetics core. So normally, and now blue's attacking me again. These guys just love attacking me. Left side down there, just they, they aren't having fun with me. So I put up that other bunker, and now you can see my upgrades. So on your stalkers, you just want to upgrade the same stuff you're upgrading on your zerg ones. You want to get uh, attack upgrade, armor upgrade, and of course health upgrade. So now red's attacking me again. <laughs> this is just pure defense. I even get up another bunker because I'm feeling a trend going on in this game. So uh, yeah, these guys just. They just want to kill me so badly. I don't know what it is. They want to group on the one guy. And you can see on the map, all around the middle, most of my Zerglings are killed except for this one up here. But this one, even just one Zergling, let me know. There's a huge army up here. And uh, of course, you can always watch the kill counter in the top right up here. And that'll just let you know who's fighting who. That's always very helpful. So uh, I'm upgrading to Stalker Lancer, which is a... Uh, the I like to get the Stalker Lancer over the Stalker Shocker just because it does uh, so much damage versus biological. I think it's the one that is bonus versus biological as compared to Stalker Shocker, which doesn't do as much. I forget. Anyways, um, I like to get these. And uh, I usually don't get blink until later on, until maybe like the half an hour mark or something like that. But you can see the kills. I'm kind of catching up here. I'm only in second place now, 715. And at this point, I'm playing defense. I mean, certain parts of the game, if you lose a majority of your army, you just have to sit back, play defense, build up a huge force of units so you can start controlling the map. And that's the whole point of having Stalkers, is just control the map. And then after you have control of the map, you just get a whole bunch of medevacs to heal your stalkers. And 
With mass armor upgrades, you can see I've already got 4 armor for my armor and 4.5 on my shields. So here I see a fight going on, so I'm going to come over here to the side and kind of pick off some kills since they're basically fighting each other. This is basically just a free win for me. Uh, getting a couple kills, I've only lost like 3 or 4 units and killed a whole bunch of units. And you can check my marine upgrades, I have none up there. I haven't got any marine upgrades. Since I'm playing by myself, I'm only going to stick to stalker upgrades because uh, I just don't really have the advantage of it, of being able to... Uh, do that. So, falling back, and I'm gonna just try and sneak around, just pick off some kills. Every kill counts, and I'm getting one another meta back. Because every soccer you save is a uh, soccer earned. Like the Benjamin Franklin quote, I'm pretty sure he said that. So, uh, and now I'm just pulling back, trying to pull this guy into it. And he's just stimming again, that's great. I lose like three stalkers, he loses his entire army. And that's all just because of these armor upgrades. You can see my armor upgrades really putting heavy in those armors. And I'm not even bother using my marines, I'm just leaving them at my base. I'm only microing my shockers, they're a lot faster. I'm gonna speed this up for a little bit. Um, so basically, I'm just gonna see that and run to the middle, use the guardian shield on the stalker. Units, the different size of units generate different stock, uh, guardian shields. So you can see right there, my stalkers had a lot larger shield. I don't really know if that even matters as far as the game mechanics go. But anyways, I'm just gonna start farming uh, this team in the bottom left. Mostly out of personal revenge because they were harassing me so much, but the point of the game is, like the succeed in Marine Arena, you want to find an opponent you can kill very easily and just farm him. And what I mean by farming him is, go over there, kill a bunch of units, come back to your base, heal up, go back, kill a bunch of units, and uh, that type of stuff. So you can see here I'm losing very few units and killing off basically entire armies, and I'm just going to sit back here, farm them, and I uh, use my medevac to deal with. Right there, use the savior, and as soon as you see a savior, be used just fall back and wait a couple seconds, then go back in. So basically the top two people are fighting and uh, they pretty much left me alone so uh, based on the kills my only real opponent so far is Orange and I haven't had to deal with him too much he's kind of been going off uh, purple and light blue at the top. So basically um, yeah just kind of microing around here getting some more stalkers every time a couple more stalkers comes out grab them put in my control group and you can check the armor upgrades I got four on this one three attack upgrade. Now you may like there's more of a science to getting what should I get armor upgrade, should I get health upgrade, should I get attack upgrade. So basically my rule of thumb is it depends on what units you're fighting against. If everybody is going Zerglings, get armor upgrade, because Zerglings do low damage but attack very often. So health and armor is very important, whereas attack isn't so much because they already have so low life. So basically it just depends on what you're fighting. It's you're fighting against mass marauders who do a lot of damage and attack slow relatively slow. You'd want to get more attack upgrades to kill them first rather than armor upgrades. So basically you can see I'm just running into fights, getting a couple kills, falling back, and uh, using my medevacs to heal my stalkers. You can see these stalkers right here. They're all full life even though they've been in and out of battle so much just because these medevacs can constantly heal. It's very nice. And anytime you see an opponent like out of position, you just run up there, grab some kills, and you can see it instantly fall back when orange comes. It's all about positioning and getting right, uh, better concaves in your opponent. And I'm waiting for this Guardian Shield to come up because I'm trying to get in this fight here. And Orange actually blinks up on me in a second. That happens. I pull my Medivac so I gotta keep those alive. And it's basically crushing my uh, opponent here, Orange, just because I've got so many more Stalkers than he does. And his Marines are pretty well upgraded, but look at this. Marines do 11 damage. I've got 6 armor. So, I mean, he's only dealing 5 damage to me. And on a unit with over 300 life total, uh, that just really isn't effective. My Stalkers are doing let's see, 34 damage versus his marines, so that's not a close fight at all. So marines against stalkers uh, with armor upgrades are pretty useless. Unless the marines are like super jacked by doing 30 damage a hit, but that that never happens. So now we got purple leaving, I guess he's not feeling good about losing all those units. And uh, I'm just building up a huge, you know, force here. I actually got that shield upgrade, which gives you a little bit more shields. And uh, have all these marines just hanging out the marines, leaving them in my base for defense and just microing my stalkers. I'll speed this up to 8x speed. This is going to kill my computer. I know it. It's got to kill my computer. Anyways, I want to get through this really quick. But yeah, like I said, just upgrade your uh, stalkers. And once I get about to 10 uh, upgrades on my armor and um, attack I, and health, I kind of like to go back to marine upgrades because your marine upgrades will also upgrade your stalkers, I mean your mercenaries in general, but it's only by 50%, but just because once you get so far into upgrades with stalkers, um, the, ex the upgrades just cost so much, I'm going to slow down here because I farm this guy pretty good, you can see I pull him back, bait him in this choke point, turn around and start attacking, 
I'm actually getting attacked down here by some zealots, but that doesn't matter because I'm just farming this guy so bad. You can look at the kills, I'm hit by 500 now. It's just all about knowing who your opponent is. If you see in a guy like me, okay, let's say you look at my screen here. You're like, wow, he's got a bunch of marines, so let's check his upgrades. Okay, they've got almost no upgrades, but he does have a bunch of life. This guy looks like he's going to be an easy person to fawn. So all you do is you watch your mini-map and you see, okay, he's way over here attacking this. Um, and this guy, red and blue, come up here and try to kill off my army. But look at this. Look at all the units they have, and look at the few stalkers I've got. And I'm going to just whop, I'm gonna mop them up. And of course, yellow comes in here from behind, but I lose. Look at this. I'm even uh, migrating a few stalkers back in this medevac. Just keep those units healed so easily. Look at this. More units coming from the top. Now I'm actually going to run away because purple's coming in. But that was a really bad attack on their part. Why attack my stalkers when they can counterattack, kill off all my marines, and actually make money? So that was a bad attack. Always want to look for the team that's like saving up marines like this because these marines are so weak they could come in here and e very easily kill them uh, while my army's across the map. So that was a missed attempt for them. So uh, basically, uh, what is this? His marine is going to. Oh wow, my marine is such a baller marine. Look at that. Oh man, taking that guy out. He's <laughs> he's the guardian of this back entrance here. So just still micro stalkers. This is a really long game, <laughs> Marine Arena. Especially when you don't have a teammate. This is hard. So I've got six attack, five armor, one shield, and I'm up to 285 life. I'm just gonna speed this up again, and uh, I'm gonna come down here and farm this guy. I know they got a bunch of Marines because he's got that upgrade. You can tell right here in this list down. You can see these Marines here. I don't know if you can tell, but they have the bigger shields and a little bit different model. Those uh, are the Marines that spawn twice as fast. I think. I think it's twice as fast. If not, it's a certain amount of. Uh, you get extra marines, so they're not going to be upgraded as well as uh, other marines that aren't spawning as much of. And I'm just basically going to camp here in the middle of the map, and anytime someone goes to attack somebody else, I'm just going to either fall back, try and bait him into the middle, or <coughs> I'm going to wait till they attack and the other opponent counterattack. So that's pretty much how that goes. And I'm just building a mass number of uh, units, and they're actually going to look at this counterattack. This is the worst counterattack I've ever seen in my entire life. They're running zealots into a choke point like this, down this entire ridge. And, uh, yeah, I don't even have stim yet for Marines, and they're just getting murdered. Uh, yeah, Lazy Bear in the Bridge. Not a very smart attack. Don't run Zealots through the maze. This is like a tower defense at this point. Look at that. I lost maybe like 10 units. Probably a little more than 10, but, I mean, look at that. I lost nothing. He lost like two full control groups. And Orange is here. It looks like he's going to take this high ground. And, uh, so Red actually left after that. Rightfully so. You should have left Red. That was horrible. Look at their kills, 551, 610, that's really bad. I'm kind of dominating now, I've got like a thousand more kills than anybody. You can see here, and I'm actually starting to blink micro, slows down for a little bit, but I'm starting to blink micro a little bit, uh, just to kill some units, or actually keep my units alive. And uh, you can watch the kills go up for me and go down for me. He blinks right in there, but it doesn't matter, he's like got no upgrades compared to mine. Look at that, 1, 2, 3, and I've got 5, 1, 8, so yeah, this fight is going to be pretty one-sided. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to finish mopping him up. And at this point, I'm completely in control. And whenever you're totally dominating like this, all you have to do is just sit in the middle of the map and uh, farm everybody and just keep, <coughs> keep massing upgrades. So I'm just going to let this run out. It's going to be done pretty quickly, hopefully. I don't want to run it too much longer. Um, maybe I'll kill these bottom left guys. But there we go. We saw light blue try to go attack somebody else because he knows I'm going to kill him. You just wait for them to go attack somebody else, and then when they do, you just come in, jump them, and get a bunch of kills. And you can see I got a bunch, a bunch of medevacs up there. I'm blinking this Stark up here for even more vision. And I'm killing everybody off, even Orange. Doesn't even matter at this point. Uh, just because Stalkers are so good in this patch. This is patch... I don't really know the name of the patch. I think it's one point something, whatever. Uh, but, yep, yeah, and then I'm getting attacked by Orange and Yellow, so I fall back a little bit. Get some more Stalkers, heal up. These medevacs heal so much. Look at that, three energy. Or three life per one energy. And look, these guys get all healed up and then just go back on the fight and uh, get some more kills. Coming down here, kill some marauders. And here's, let me explain this part right here. So, uh, let's say these guys are still here actually and um, they have no units in their base. And you're like, oh, I can go in there, kill their commands, and just get a couple hundred dollars. You don't want to take, like, I had my entire army. I had my entire army here, but you don't need your entire army. You only need to take a few units, you can see here, take a few units, come in there, farm them. Uh, just because of the fact that if he does a savior, if they happen to have a savior, he's going to use it and he's going to kill your entire army. But you only need a little bit of your army, so you don't risk your entire army when only a little bit of it will suffice. And he's walking straight into a choke point here. This is a horrible attack for Wretcher. Um, and his marine still only at 45 life. What has he been doing? That's horrible. 
We got a pretty good marine life. Mine at least have 80. But now, uh, smoking my crack is uh, trying to attack into me in the middle here. Pop up the guardian shield. Got my medevacs healing. Look at these units in the front. These guys are just taking so much damage from getting healed constantly. I love it. And I'm flanking here with some more units. And I see this Goliath or this Colossus, and I'm gonna catch him. I'm not gonna let him get away. Oh. It looks like he does get away. I do let him get away this time. Not next time, though. So, still dominating, still dominating. Uh, not much to talk about here. And, uh, yeah, this at this point in the game, I'm completely in control. I've got a batch of units over here, just to farming units that try to poke out. i still got entire vision of the map all the way over here on the right with all these Zerglings. And, of course, these back up here if I want to spread them out in the middle. But at this point, I don't even need them. I've got, uh, I've got everything under control. And uh, I'm just going to come in here and uh, get some kills. It looks like Light Blue actually attacked that back pathway. And uh, they're trying to fight each other. You'll notice that whenever uh, we're in situations like this where one person is completely overpowering everybody, the two players that are weaker will try to attack each other. And uh, just because they know they actually have a chance of getting a kill. And your job whenever you're in control of the map and you have the best units is just to get in the middle of that fight and kill everything. Because you will kill everything. Um, and like right now, I'm 11 attack, 6 armor. Doing great with 320 life. My marines already have 100 life, and I'm starting to upgrade my marines a little bit. Get them the range upgrade, attack speed upgrade. And look at this, I'm taking a small batch of units. Look at this. Slow us down a little bit. Take a small batch of units, just do a little bit of micro. Look at this, micro back to red ones. And he's losing his whole army, just because my stalkers are so much stronger. I don't lose a single stalker there, from what I remember. And I just out micro him just with a little bit of blink micro, and uh... He's all dead, and uh, I didn't lose a single stalker, and now my medevacs are sent over there. Just gonna heal those guys up. I'm gonna send in some more units to try to get some more kills. I'm actually gonna try and snipe these tech buildings. That's definitely important, uh, snipe tech buildings. But when the game is close, when the game is not close, it really doesn't matter what you do. He actually uses a savior there, and uh, scans, that was smart. He definitely needs to scan so he has vision, but I blinked away and saved all these units. And uh, so let's speed this up again. There's a Colossus who's trying to get some kills on me, but uh, there we go, he dies that time. Now he's dead. And uh, now the my biggest opponent is dead, and I easily have double his kills. So yeah, this game is completely over. Both the guys on the left leave. Now it's just the guys, or actually both the guys on the right leave. No one GGs. I swear. Custom games are so bad, man. If I play one v one, everybody GGs me. But I play custom game, no one GGs. Everybody leaves. So this is pretty much a slaughter. And uh, he does have Marangers. Those do, those do pretty well against armored, but he just doesn't have as much life. I've got like double his life, ten armor. And he's only doing 36 damage, so. And finally, I have all these Marines. I'm like, I'm gonna go feed top right, but I forgot that both of them are have left. And so, actually worked out kind of good. Actually, they still here. I thought they left. Okay, yeah, good. Their command centers are gone. So basically, another thing. This happens a lot. We need to talk about this. Whenever you are in a situation where you're way on top of the game, and you have like the best army. But let's say you have marines that aren't upgraded. Mine are really stacked right now, like 130 life, 80 pack upgrade. And there goes another savior. So like, let's say, uh, like I said, you're in the lead. Your marines suck though, and you've just been saving them up. What you want to do is, to get rid of your marines is, if you really want to waste a lot of time, is you can just select all your marines and start A killing all your marines. You know, control killing all your marines. That takes forever. Just take all your marines and attack into the enemy with the lowest number of kills. So in this situation, I'd be like, okay, there's right. He's got no kills. I can feed him. It's not going to really hurt me. There, they use another savior. So I'm just sending, uh, and basically, let me talk about this a second, but basically you just take all your Marines, feed the guy who's the weakest, and it's not going to hurt you at all. And it's going to get rid of all your Marines. So that way someone who actually has a chance of beating you isn't going to get the money. So now we're down to the last two players. And these guys have planetary fortresses, turtling, being really a pain in the ass. There's no way they're going to win. I have more kills than both of them added up. And then times by two, probably. Um, maybe not times by two, but I've got them dominated. So I've got a bunch of Zerglings. I'm just going to send those in. Those guys are probably wondering, where did the Zerglings come from? I <laughs> come there, snipe their tech structure. No tech structure here. They move in. Now they're making spine crawlers, just turtling up. Uh, not sure if they have any more saviors. I'm pretty sure they've used at least three. Always want to count how many number of saviors each side has. Each team, uh, at least in this mode, will get four for each corner. Except for me, I only got two. And that means any of them. So now I'm basically just sending my Zergens in here who are supremely stacked. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. They're just crushing everything. This game is over. They're going to turn second and send in some more Zerglings. I actually switched back to Zerglings because Zerglings just do so much damage against buildings. And Stalkers take so long to uh, spawn. So there, finally dead. Game over. 
So that's my strategy, uh, Zergling opening into Stalker with Medivax and uh, Banshee. And uh, if you guys do that, follow that pretty much right on. I can I do this strat all day, and I've got so many wins. Um, it's a pretty easy strategy to do. Now, this could all change in a matter of moments as soon as they patch the game of Nerf Stalkers, which I think is going to happen. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this more advanced uh, Marine Arena tutorial. And, you know, uh, yeah, check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Anchikino. And subscribe, all that good stuff. If I get any more uh, cool new uh, builds, or as long as uh, Marine Arena keeps changing, I'll post some more new, like, overpowered builds. And I'll pass them along to you guys. Peace.